Alright boys, so welcome back to another reaction. So in today's video, we got another Asmund Gold reaction video that we are reacting to. Easy yes, another uh, reaction to a reaction video. Some of these have been doing really well. You guys have really liked them, obviously, because the comments and the views have been popping off on my channel. So we're definitely going to be doing more of these and also mixing up the content a little bit. We're kind of strained away from gaming a little bit. We are still doing some gaming ones, but those are mainly on streams uh, for the most part. And then we're kind of focusing on the React content over here. Maybe we'll, you know, uh, mix that up a little bit and add some React content over on the stream. I don't know yet. We'll have to see. Um, but in today's video, Asmund Gold was specifically reacting to Donald Trump's new policies that are possibly coming into fruition here. We'll have to see if he actually gets them done. Because obviously there's still steps he has to take before he can enact some of these laws because they are on a federal level. Um, I mean, unless he takes executive action, but he can't do that for everything, so. Um, it just really depends on how this is all going to go. But this is my reaction to it, so if you guys enjoyed today's video, don't forget to drop a like and sub. Here's our YouTube comment shout-out. Let's go again to it, guys. Our country all right, boys, on to the reaction. We got our hot chocolate. By all Let's go. The crime that's taking place. The drug cartels are waging war in America, and it's now time for America to wage war on the cartels. In this war, okay. Joe Biden has sided against the oh, United shit. States. That's about to get wild, Jack. They are making more money than they've ever made before, times 10. Mm -hmm. There's never okay. been anything like it. They're major, major companies. They're bigger than even some of yep. our biggest companies. Biden's open border policies are a deadly betrayal of our nation. CIA when I am shambles. president, it will be the policy of the United States to take down the cartels just as we took down ISIS and the ISIS caliphate, and just as unlike the situation Damn, he's comparing today, to the ISIS. we had a very, very wild. strong border, the strongest border, in fact, in the history of our country, and drugs were at a low of 45 years. There's been mm -hmm. nothing like what we did just two years ago. We will show no mercy on the cartels. Every day, drug traffickers are using the waters of our region to ship their lethal poisons to America, killing so I many mean, of our yeah, people. I mean, oh, he's boy. not wrong about that. There are a lot of drugs coming to the in country. In addition to restoring strong border security, I will deploy all necessary military assets, including the U.S. Navy, to... Wait, all military assets are what? Yeah, he got left. Oh, my God. Jesus. So at the border... the full oh, naval shit. embargo and the cartels. I did that before, and it worked. Oh, on the cartels, okay. Was I thought you were talking about deportation. We I was like, oh, all that. The borders of oh, the Western crazy. Hemisphere are not used to traffic illicit drugs to our country. Furthermore, I will order the Department of Defense to make appropriate use of special forces, cyber warfare, and other overt and covert actions to inflict maximum damage on cartel leadership, infrastructure, and Oh, so and he's operations. declaring war on the cartels. Uh, Okay. He's saying he's gonna fucking Shit. tell. She's just gonna go and kill him. Jesus. Oh my God. We'll designate the major cartels as foreign terrorist organizations. We will sever their access to global financial systems. I will. Jesus. Oh wow. But I mean, like, on top of that, like, what are they gonna do? It's a fucking cartel. They don't have, like, fucking super... I mean, they probably have, like, a couple super geniuses, maybe, but, like, they ain't gonna be able to do shit <laughs> against the U.S. is fucking shit. Oh, uh, this is we'll wild. Work to He's literally declaring war on the cartel. ...partnership with neighboring governments in our region, just like I did in Mexico. And remember, in Mexico alone, an estimated 100,000 civilians have been tragically murdered or gone missing... At the hands of these cartels, oh my God. the Mexican He's government, not wrong about that, run though. by a very fine man, the president, is really working hard, but it's not working out. These cartels are vicious and oh. they're violent, and they have Mexico for now stymied. But well, we have to help Mexico. Yeah, they pretty much taken over to Mexico, to be honest. The cartels. I get a way with what they want. Either we will get the full cooperation of other governments to stop this menace. Or we will expose every bribe, every kickback, every payoff, and every oh my. Of corruption that is allowing the cartels to preserve their brutal reign. And it is so. Oh my God! Oh my God. So wait, hold on. He so he wants every other country to also go after them. Otherwise, he's gonna expose them for the bribes that they've taken from the fucking cartel. That is fucking crazy. Brothers, no. Is this blackmail? This happens. 
<laughs> Holy shit. Indeed. Hold well on. Finally, as I have said before, I will ask Congress oh, wow. to pass legislation ensuring that drug smugglers and human traffickers receive the death penalty. The drug cartel... Oh, my God. Oh, boy. The, he is going yeah. in. ...and their allies in the Biden administration have the blood of countless millions on their hands. Millions and millions of families and people are being destroyed. When I'm back in the White House, the drug kingpins and vicious traffickers will never sleep soundly again. We did it once, and we did okay. it better than anybody else. There's I never mean, been so a he's... better border than we had just two years ago. Oh, man. It was strong, it was right. powerful, and it was respected all over the world. And now we're laughed at now all need, over the world. Yeah. And we're not going to let that happen. I mean, sure, border policies, I don't know. We'll have to see how this is going to pan tough. out. We have to be smart. Jesus. We have to be fair. But if we don't do something immediately. If it's focused on the cartels, I think that's gone. perfectly fine. One of the things students love about elementary <laughs> school online with the school. But it has to be on the cartels. Can't be focused on everybody. I... Just because they're from another country. Bro, like, if, if that shit happens, that is going to be fucking insane. Because, like, that's kind of what happened in El Salvador. Donald Trump announces that he will ask Congress to pass a bill establishing the only genders recognized by the United States government are male and female, and they are assigned at birth. Wow. Here's my plan to stop the chemical... And here's what's important about this thing. This has 295,000 likes. Damn. That shit is crazy. That is a crazy is policy. Massive. That's going to like that's going to trigger so many people. I actually think like it's very weird, but I but, actually think that the trans issue was extremely circumstantial and extremely instrumental in mm -hmm. radicalizing people against left-wing ideology. I do. I, I think it was like massively influential. I don't know how I feel about Even this. I mean, it's, small percentage it's of telling people. your original gender from birth, on day one, no matter what. Revoke Joe Biden's cruel policies okay. on so-called gender-affirming care. Oh, here we go. Ridiculous. A process yeah, on kids is crazy. Kids, Get rid of that shit. Mutating their physical appearance yeah. and ultimate Adults, do what the fuck you want. On minor children. Can you believe this? I will sign a new executive order. There it is, right? And right. so... You can't smoke cigarettes, but you can change your whole media, body's anatomy. People have been led to believe that this is a normal opinion that average people have. Yeah, it's when you crazy. explain putting a 12-year-old on puberty blockers yep. and giving them surgery to change their gender, or a 15-year-old... Like, fuck no. If you explain this to an average Walmart American, they're going to want to call the police... Yeah. Because we could have a molester here. There, there, you know, there's no, for like, real, though. This is, this is bad, right? This could be a, something that bad. That sounds yeah, absolutely. pedophilic. Child abuse, yeah, yeah. There, this, isn't, this is not an opinion that average people have. It's and on ridiculous. the internet, there's been such a massive distortion of what normal is that it's been seen as like this is a contentious topic. It's not a contentious topic at all. It's not. Uh, it's just people on the internet that have opinions guess, they're able to post online and people are like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This. It's they just agree the with them because they're in a group together. Walmart that happens a lot. Walmart sounds like a slur. <laughs> I know. That's why I use it. We're instructing Damn. every federal agency to <laughs> cease all programs Based. that promote the concept of sex yeah. and gender transition at any age. Um, wait, what's will, this? Can you believe this? I will sign a new executive order instructing right. every federal agency to cease all programs that promote the concept of sex and gender transition yep. at any age. Wow. I will... Oh, at any age. Damn, bro. They're going all the way with this. Okay. Well, shit. We'll have yeah, to see. Yeah, trans issues were not important in this election. Um, right. No, I, I think that they were. And so let me explain why. That's identity politics, so I don't so, know about that. A lot of people have, like, indicators of competency. And what I mean by okay. that is that... A lot of people mm -hmm. will discount or disagree with something or not like somebody based off of a certain action that that person takes that might not necessarily be reflective of everything else, but it is an indicator of a pattern of thought or a pattern of behavior. Right. So what happens is that when somebody hears that 
you know, somebody thinks like, oh yeah, you should have like, you know, like underage kids like taking puberty blockers or transitioning uh, with like gender affirming care. This is something that like the moment that they hear that, it doesn't matter the rest of the things that you say because that is so offensive to them that they are just automatically against you. Right, without even giving That's it like a single happens. thought, right? Uh, that's what I'm assuming. Um, yeah, exactly. Social issues were number one among swing voters. Yeah. Yep. And I really think that people are downplaying. And and here's what's funny about it, right? Is that trans trans people are less than 1% of the population, right? Yeah, so literally less than 1%. This is really not an important problem to solve for the country, right? It, it's really not that big of a deal. Like you've got inflation. Mm -hmm. It's just that wars less than 1% like is fucking controlling uh, the damn internet, Trump apparently. Social systems are well, this cancel culture would not really be a thing. Be, uh, the focus it would not be a thing. They're Promise not. You. But the fact that the other side, like the Democrats, want to use this as an issue and they're not willing to just kind of let it go, other people aren't going to let it go either. Because they're appealing, they're That's fighting a 99.5% yes, of, right? so of the population on an issue that, that only affects 0.5% yeah, so of the population and using that as one of their main yes. strong points. Of course, and that's so why it's, it didn't work. It's, so he's using identity politics too? He is. And so basically, mm -hmm. I think that this election, more than anything, I, I think it was a refutation of radical identity and social politics. I think that is a, a huge component to it because right. average people are very put off by this. And I'm always speaking about this from a perspective of like, um, like I'm, I'm just talking about it like anecdotally, right? I'm saying like, oh yeah, I have like seven friends that I've talked to about this that I've grown up with that aren't streamers or anything. And they all think mm -hmm. the same thing about this. Oh wow, sample size of seven, who cares? But how many of you guys have had the same experience with people that are in your life that have the same opinions that are like, no, this stuff is crazy. Yeah, no, yeah, I 100%. Yeah. Well, there are, there I mean, shit, my whole friend group this thinks stuff. this shit is fucking crazy. There actually so. is, like, opinion polls and stuff like that. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, exactly. And so there's a lot of them. Uh, we're sick of the lunacy, and I think a lot of average people are sick of, um, you know, they're, they're sick of being told that, like, oh, yeah, you're a bad person for, like, not seeing this the same way that they do. Yeah, it's crazy. It is Trump won the popular vote. Yeah, and, and I think that, like, the like radical positions on social issues is actually one of the biggest issues that affects uh that affects voting i think it's very very big or at least like this time around and the reason why i think it was so big is because these social issues are accessible to anyone like yeah because of the internet can anybody can a man and a woman is yep. anybody can understand like you know, you look around and like men are on average taller, women are on average shorter, right? But well, then you go on the internet, you got bad so fucking like you can go idiots, to, like, like any, bad people, any idiots. Place in the world, just saying and stupid shit. The same distinction. It's because it's a naturally occurring uh, thing in humanity. And so, what happens is that whenever you diverge from that, you're denying such a core truth that yep. a lot of people know to be true. You're denying a fact. <laughs> and it's just not going to work. It's, it's your opinion and you're trying to make it like actual fact and nobody's going to side with you because you get butthurt the second you think your opinion is wrong. It's crazy. People just can't be fucking wrong on the internet. That's the issue. It's okay to be wrong, guys. Some people make mistakes. Some people learn things the wrong way. If you're told the actual factual truth, you should probably listen. It's going to be really stupid. And I think that they're a stupid Expand person. your knowledge just a little bit. And I think what's happened is that with these radical social issues, people view them the same as I view the earth being flat. And it's like the moment that they hear you say that, you know, like biological men should compete against women in sports, this is like an automatic disqualifier because it just goes against every bit of logic, reasoning, and lived experience that they've ever had. Yep. Do you see what I'm saying? Like I said, men should not be in women's sports. Should not be a thing. It's completely unfair for the women. From being used to promote or <clears throat> pay for these procedures. Especially and the ones that work hard and deserve to actually have a chance to win their in shit. 50 states. Wow. Will very quickly, I will declare that any hospital or healthcare provider that participates in the chemical or physical mutilation of minor youth will no longer meet federal health and safety standards for Medicaid and Medicare 
and will be terminated from the program immediately. Further Jesus Christ, yeah. Oh my God. Look, I'm actually so they'll cut straight government like, funding from a hospital if they do that. I mean, is he just gonna go and just? Do you this? gotta have some consequences behind it because yeah. if you just say, "Oh, it's illegal," and some people are still gonna try it, but if you slap something else on it, then okay, I won't do it. I won't do it. Private right of action for victims to sue doctors who have unforgivably performed these procedures. On see this is the thing yep. this is what i was talking given about the ability before. to sue as well like, like that's that's a bunch of money they do not want to lose that from happening they are going to go after the people that did it and they are going to fucking nail them up on a cross yep yeah there are going to be actual i wonder if this is going to be on future cases happen. or if they can prosecute and cases that have happened that before think that's depending on the severity of the situation in i don't a lot know of ways, I'd probably like if it was non-consensual or something like that i don't know but there's a lot of people out there that have been made to uh, that they, they've felt like they haven't been able to express themselves. They haven't been able right. to have the opinions that they've wanted to have. And that has caused so much animosity and frustration. Fair as fuck. I, I, I why like I mean, this is my personal opinion. It, I mean, I, I don't really care. Like my personal opinion on this is a little bit different. But I think that it's good to analyze what people are thinking and at least what yep. I think people are thinking. So, like, we can debate it all day. It's not really that important. The point is that a lot of people effectively want revenge. That's the reason. I'd say, I'd say yeah, kind it's of. It just kind of depends how you look it at stop it. Happening. They want to take the people that were doing Not it, even just revenge. You just want. Them, and they want to do it publicly to set an example for everybody else. We just want what well, we voted for. Again, that's this it. What's gonna I don't think it's so much a revenge. I don't know. At least for me, it's now, not revenge. It I'm not trying to get revenge on the people. Like, that's not I what I wanted. I just wanted things to change a little bit. That's it. Do. That's what it comes <laughs> down to. Hold them accountable. Yeah, I think that's it. But I think holding people accountable for crazy things is also good. The Department of Justice will investigate Big Pharma oh. and the big hospital networks to determine whether they have deliberately covered up horrific long-term side effects of sex transitions oh so there are going to be consequences to previous cases at the expense of vulnerable patients in this case very vulnerable we will also right because they're young kids 12 years old absolutely crazy kind of they're, they're allowed to even do that the most effective messaging he could use talking about this because he's effectively he's he's basically looking at it as like the people that are looking for like these type of like gender reassignment surgeries and things like they this. just want money these or people no, the people want money victims, from them yeah right he's trying to help them in like big pharmacy or like they're the ones that are bad because at the end of the day they get the money from the surgery the person gets what they want even though they probably don't know what they want yeah i mean shit when i was 12 years old i had fucking wanted to fucking uh whatchamacallit what's a good example like i wanted to be like i don't know a baseball player or something like that completely yeah. irrelevant kind of but still like you don't know exactly what you want to be in a few years later because a few years later i wanted to not be a baseball player anymore like you just you don't know and especially when you're young you're kind of indecisive so i don't think making a big decision like that's going to affect your physical body for the rest of your life is really that great will inform states and school districts that if any teacher or school official suggests to a child that they could be trapped in the wrong body. Mm -hmm. They will be faced with Oh yeah, and definitely not out of schools. Definitely out of schools. Rights. If you can't have religion in schools, this should also not be allowed in schools as well. For sex Ridiculous. Discrimination and the oh, damn, they're going to call it sexual discrimination? That is... Man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, same reaction as Asma Gold's got right now. Man. This is like a radical, uh, like... Base mass up taking yeah. of action and i guess you could say the on the on the whole situation i think that if you were to ask people how many people support this right i think you would get an easy super majority yeah easy well i mean I, I agree with it though it's it's it seems kind of radical but at the same time like it Today's it should not be in schools as simple as that if um, you don't want it to not be in schools you have to set consequences for people who don't want to follow the rule as a, it's ridiculous uh but as like a, an agent of the state it, that's not the same as the First Amendment. Nationalities are fine, obviously. I mean, shoot, yeah, they have like it, IFF there. Really if you guys not. have that, international food fairs. Those are so, so, so good. Yeah, I Nationality mean, flags are fine, why. but no no religion. There's no First no, Amendment. Like, yeah, that's not what's going on Sex. Here. 
related I things. So like, it should just not be a thing. Sex related things should be taught in health class. That's it. Not be is. an opinion that's publicly and displayed that the end for of everybody. Middle school or Ridiculous. High school, when kids are fully understanding of sex education, mm -hmm. they should be made aware of the idea of being transgender. Oh, yeah, 100%. Know that this I have no issue with that. If, as long as they keep they it in health class, I have no issue. Transgender, right. But they yeah, if they think that they are transgender and, you know, something like that, or if they want to be taught specifically about that, it should be taught in health class, 100%, because there's still the possibility that later on in life they might go that way. That's perfectly this fine. Does exist. But having that shit as, like, a That's general, I mean. like, you shouldn't be in history class and someone t telling you about a that. It should not be no. a thing. That's fine. I mean, some people are still going to say no, but I mean, does, it's, and I think that school, it's because you're supposed to be educated because it's, it's health. It's still about like sex education, but what if they decide to change and then they have no option? It's like when schools don't teach you how to do your taxes, you go out there completely fucking not knowing what the fuck's going on. You don't know how to navigate it. You don't know, you have a guide, nothing like that. You should have a basic guide for everything. Like I said, it should stay in its own lane. Like you shouldn't be in health class trying to teach people about like fucking history and shit or like fucking english grammar like it's not what it's supposed to have you're supposed to be taught what's well, taught in health class or whatever you're learning and then the same thing over for other subjects it should be just preparing stay in your side stay in your lane that's all i'm saying as it is rather than <laughs> creating a a worldview to teach kids that is uh th th it's subjective i think right. that, that school should be it should be to how to prepare kids and how to teach them to accurately see the world yep. and how to prepare them for what's happening in the world. 100%. And it's just preparation for when they're adults. That's important to teach kids that's about it. Hitler. It's important, to I, it's important to teach kids how Hitler came to power. It's important yep. to teach kids what the Holocaust was or what civil rights were or anything like that because you have to understand... And I feel bad because history class is only going to get harder and harder as time goes on because there's more history to learn. What Trump is saying here... So is students Crazy. being told by their teacher that they could be transgender. This is totally different than being taught that there are people that believe that they're transgender. Right. These are two very, very different mm -hmm. things. One of them is a personal interaction, and the other one is education. It's just a yeah, general education, yeah, that's it. So that that's my per you want to know what my opinion is, that's what my opinion is. Yeah, that's a pretty solid opinion. I 100% agree with that. 100%. Elimination of federal funding. I know a lot of people disagree. As part of our new credentialing body for teachers. And yeah, like he said, it's fine to disagree with people, boys. It's fine to just literally be like, you know what, I don't think that. And, you know, and it's okay to debate people too, but the second you start being weird about it, start being hateful about it, it's fucking crazy. You should not be hateful because somebody has a different opinion. Education about it's crazy. The nuclear family, the roles of mothers <laughs> and fathers, yeah. And celebrating rather than erasing the things that make men and women different and unique. I will ask Congress to pass a bill of staff. And this is just, again, all of these things, this is like a massive W for people that I think are common sense enjoyers. Everybody knows men and women are different. Right, yep. That's the idea it. that they're not is completely fucking delusional. Yep. No, like they think differently, everything. Slippery slope. I think that you're right that it's a slippery slope. But what I would also say is that if you ask somebody, it's still who's a big black and white though. This, like it's still like that, yeah, it's plain as day. The opposite is a slippery slope, and we've been sliding down that for ten years, and so it's time to change the slope. I think that people understand yep. that. Like we need to make common sense common like, sense you know, like again, bro. Is what needs to happen. Or anything like that. Like, it could too many people had access to the internet that posted their own opinions, and all of a sudden, certain things are wrong. For example, it's fucking uh, ridiculous. Very, very easy for that to happen, or the nineties. Uh, so, even though it's yeah, been fat for so that. many years, so stupid, so stupid. Yeah, common sense not too common in unfortunately. Recognized by the United States government are male and female, and they are assigned at birth. The bill that is crazy. Mm -hmm. Like, and not like I'm not saying like he's wrong or right. I'm saying like that is extreme. Yeah. So he's basically saying like there is no non-binary. You cannot identify as a third gender or a third sex. You can't change it. That's it, even for adults. Yeah. Yeah, he said even for adults. Man.
It's a biological fact. Well, what I'm saying is that... I just think he wants to keep out of, like, like court legal documents. Like, if... I mean, you have to think about it, like, from this perspective. If somebody tries to, like, or they go transgender or something like that, and then they say, like, okay, I'm a male now, or I'm a female now, and then they go and they start going to freaking... I mean, anybody could literally do this. They could literally be like, you know what, I'm a female now. And they start going in the fucking female restroom and start being weird. Like, at the end of the day, I think what he wants to do is make it to where it's on their fucking ID that, no, this is a male. And the fact that he got caught doing shit that's weird in there should not be, that should not happen. It's ridiculous. You get prosecuted because you're a weird-ass male that's trying to fucking perv on chicks in the women's restroom. It's ridiculous. I don't know. I, I think it's a little crazy. It's all ages, but this is radical. Definitely a radical change. I don't know. You Let's have see. to admit that this is a massive departure. Yeah, from it's what's huge. Been going on and how things have been because it's it's literally like you're years. turning it on its face. You're going. This they were going like this way, like 100, percent and now he's just kind of direction. nope that way. Like it's 100. percent You're what I'm saying. 180, complete 180, turning completely around. People it's are not going to like it. Fucking rowdy. Yeah. They told us they were going to do this, Project 2025. Oh, maybe. No, yeah, we have no clue so whether that's still true or not. No clue if the Project 2025 thing yeah, is a I'm fact sure or not. Exactly I don't think it's really are, been fact-checked. But, like super, super, but we'll see, I mean, with the policies that are instilled and stuff, hey, it could be right. Like I said, it can't be wrong, can't be right. I think it. We'll also make clear that Title IX prohibits men from participating in women's sports. Yep, there we go. Literally the easiest W. Yep. No men this is the at all in women's w. sports. I am shocked that they kept trying to push this. Like, this is, again, it's another super majority opinion. And that kind of begs the question, though, the should women be allowed to play in men's sports? Because, I mean, it's... Because the whole point why men shouldn't be in women's sports is because of the biological advantage. But if a woman goes to play men's sports, that's kind of, it's kind of I don't know. I mean, I wouldn't care, honestly, because, like I said, it's sort of like a it's a biological advantage, and they they want to play against the advantage, and they excel and they do really well. Then go ahead, so, shit, yeah. have fun. And so, yeah, this is exactly <laughs> like, and and there are a lot of people, and this is what I'm saying is like, you know, if you go down to like, I don't want to say this as like a derogatory term or like a diminutive term, but if you really go and you ask your Walmart Americans, if you go and you ask. You know, you go out to the park somewhere, you go out to like some public event and you just interview people there. What do they think about this? I think that you're going to get again, pretty much everybody agreeing with this. Yeah. Uh, do you think pushing I mean, shit, has do. to do with Elon's son? <laughs> no, I think that Trump is just simply responding to what a lot of people in the public are wanting to see. Yep. There are more laws against trans athletes than there are trans athletes. Uh, so, and that's what I was saying before, right? Is that I think that the okay. trans athlete issue and the entire trans issue, you're right. I think that everybody knows that it's like a fringe issue. It is a tiny fractional issue, but the fact that it exists is a demonstration of such a profound lack of fairness right. and a profound lack of like what people believe to be common sense that it creates a huge focus point because of how extreme it is. And it's used as like a, as an anchor point that people look at every other opinion that that person has. It's like right. what I was saying with flat earth. The moment that you think somebody believes in flat earth, then immediately you're going to discount everything else that they say. Yeah, because is you think they're stupid. Politics, That's it. Uh, it is. It but you should be open to other people's ideas, because uh, even if they're wrong about right one thing, they could be right about another, you know? Expand your knowledge. Rethinking. And we will protect the rights of parents from being forced mm -hmm. to allow their minor child right. to assume a gender which is new and an identity without the parent's consent. Mm -hmm. the Especially without the parent's consent. It's crazy. New, and it will not be without... Parental consent. No serious Ridiculous. country should be telling its children that they were born with the wrong gender, a concept that was never heard of mm -hmm. in all of human history. Nobody's ever heard of this, what's happening yep. today. It was all when the radical left invented it just a few years ago. Under my leadership, this madness will end. Thank you very yep. much.
All right, well, it showed his position on what's going to be cracking. That's for sure. At least uh, this first part. I mean, I think that's... A lot of people massively support this. Yeah. Like, a lot. Yeah, no, 100%. Here's my plan to stop. Like, this is 16 million Yeah. People are massively in favor of this. Yep. And I think that this is the problem, right, is that social media websites... 39,000 retweets, dude. And previously 16 million like views, 300k and likes. Like even Twitch, for example, At least on the internet, yeah. A lot, lot of people agree with this. A lot of people. And this is just on Twitter. About their true feelings about Imagine where else this is all posted. Because a lot of people don't really believe in it, and it's considered transphobia. So what's happened is that you've had an echo chamber oh, that's been created where the people that are supportive of it are still vocal the people that are not supportive of it are either quiet or banned and so you have a feedback loop where people keep hearing over and over this is the this is the right thing this is the right thing but the problem is that when you have uh, also literally you know, like i said platform. this i know this is completely on to off topic of what has been gold saying but Literally, look at this post down here. Democrats have lost their footing with mainstream Americans by pushing too far on cultural issues. Most Americans believe that allowing boys to compete in girls' sports crosses a line and is unfair to the girls who pour their heart and soul into the training only to lose out. Literally, exactly what I fucking like, like said. Now, Twitter with Elon it's Musk. completely unfair. You see a lot of people don't agree it's fucked up. And then it's not fair at all. There's like stupid. a bunch of people out in public that don't really understand it. Don't really fucking them. stupid. That's what happens. That's like letting like D1 players like drop down the D4 like football just because they want to. And they just start fucking dominating and winning every single tournament and event and everything. And fucking that's just absolutely the, just uh, bullying the fuck out of them the that's shouldn't be allowed and, uh, just because they want to this. because they want to fucking smir it's like smurfing it's ridiculous let me see if i look at a few more of these <laughs> even in fucking uh, video games that shit's banned you get fucking found for doing smurfing you get fucking banned you're not even supposed to do that like even in the video game space it's why the fuck are the shit they allowed in actual sports so that's ridiculous term. the video's not recent it was made in 2023 yeah and and that's the point that i'm making is that this has been a long time coming. I, I understand that these videos didn't happen yesterday. I never said that they did. But what right. I'm saying is that I think that like a lot of these like left-wing ideology, identity politics things have turned people... They, they have turned people radically against, I think, that any kind of left-wing ideology because they're unable to divorce themselves from these extreme issues that are affecting and also uh supported by such a small minority of people yeah and i think also a lot of and they focus on the small minority instead of focusing on problems that every other american has like fucking groceries like yeah, come on man uh, no, I, I bet you right now there's not a lot of people there there are definitely them. people who care a lot about identity it angry, politics and it but i'm pretty sure they care more whether or not they can eat food like tomorrow or the next day or the week after or whether their family can eat food the month after or the week after there's just a lot more things that are more like prioritized that are much more important than some of these other things that was getting kind of pushed Pushing back, I got permabanned on Reddit for it. I was very reasonable about it, too. Yeah, exactly. And so that, I think, is one of the biggest components here. And, and I think that social media and the Internet has created an echo chamber where these types of values, it's the same as, like, that girl interviewing that couple. It's like Internet, internet politics. Yep. Internet politics is, like... You're either right or wrong. Really fringe <laughs> That's extreme. It. And also, even inside of internet politics, and if people don't like social media websites, if people don't like your opinion, then you're wrong. Opinions, that's literally it's how it is. Like, even though, even if you're, even if it's a if fact, if they don't like you, how it is, then it, it's wrong. That didn't agree with you. So that's the internet. Well, but it's crazy. But then you try to tell them they're wrong, and then it's like, no, no. Like, no, yeah, what the exactly. fuck? It's like, it's okay. Yeah. Everybody, everybody can be wrong. Everybody can be wrong. You don't always have to be right. Well, they feel a need I know I've said that like 30 times, but still, it's okay. Allow others to do what they want. <laughs> um, the reason why people think that is that they want to have an opinion. Like, if, if somebody tells them, like, oh, yeah. Somebody wants a right opinion. Like, That's the I thing. I should be able to compete they in want to be different. sports as a transsexual male. And you say, I don't agree with that. And they call you transphobic. <laughs> people want to be able to have an opinion on something. Yep. Everybody is going to have an opinion on these things. Of course that they are. It, it, it's common sense. People care about kids. Yeah, and I think also, like, I actually think that the average population, if you look at, like, adults transitioning, 
I right. actually think that the majority of adults don't care about other adults doing that. Yep. I actually think that just on I a don't base care. level, like if they, whatever the fuck they want to do. Go ahead, you're a fucking adult. You can decide. You can fucking smoke cigarettes, you can fucking do whatever the fuck you well, I mean, you can't fucking drink alcohol until twenty one, but I mean if you wanna go ahead and change your body, go ahead. I don't fucking care. But leave the fuck kids alone, man. Leave them alone. Trans like acceptance is the majority. But it's I like think ridiculous, what really man. radicalized I don't even know it's a conversation. was the sports issue and also the issue with children. And those two things put together radicalize people so much that now, like what Trump is saying, now that are against the entire thing. Yep. That's what I think has happened. It's compelled They pushed speech. as hard as yeah. they could and they got pushed uh, back. Simple as that. Not only that, but look at that. But within the time that it said 290K likes, it went to 301K likes. That's crazy. And that was a, like a day and a half ago, I think, that this got posted like two days ago. Just fucking wild, boys. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much going to do it for the reaction, boys. Uh, go into the post thoughts, and then from there, uh, we'll go ahead and end the video. We'll see you guys there. Alrighty, boys. So, long story short, if I uh, give my final thoughts here. Basically, uh, I agree with most of it. I think some of it is a little bit rash. Like, I think going for all ages and what they were talking about is a little crazy. I think, the, you know, as an adult, you should still have that choice, um, you know, to... I don't know. I guess identify. But then again, I think he just wants it on like legal documents specifically that it's whatever we were assigned at birth is what's sticking. So like I said, it's like a it's a slippery slope. I think yeah, I think Dasmin Gold said that it's like very like 50-50. Like it's kind of rough to talk about because there there's like no way of really drawing the line unless you just fucking draw the line. Like it like you draw a line on either side, like 100% this or 100% that. It looks like it's like going 100% that this time around instead of this. Um, so yeah, I mean, I think that's pretty wild. Uh, the border policy things are pretty pretty wild as well. Um, I mean, it's mainly focused on cartel though. It's not like focused on average people like trying to cross the border. He didn't say anything about that and that. So we'll have to see later on what more of what he wants to do and see what his actions are to do as well so we'll have to see how the border policies are taken care of but anyways boys that's pretty much gonna do it for this video if you guys enjoyed today's reaction don't forget to drop a like and sub and i will see you guys in uh, a stream later today if you guys are there and we're i will see you guys in the next video see you guys later